hey, this is Wild Finds, and it got that name because I search for things in the wild. I mostly try to buy media items. Back visiting Rhode Island, hopefully they have some good stuff since I've been gone. Got some wrestling DVDs here, nice. You actually don't find these as much as you used to. No Way Out is a wrestling pay-per-view. Oh no, wait. I'm gonna grab these right here, WCW War Games, excited for this one. I think I like watching old WCW more than WWF at this point because I've just seen the WWF stuff so much. So yeah, for uh, $2, good deal there. I'll grab this one, WWE Best Pay-Per-View Matches 2009 to 2010. I'll grab this one, it's new and sealed, probably try to resell that one. I would grab Coco, I love this movie, but the disc isn't in there, unfortunately. I was surprised to find this one, Hick. This is an Australian release. I looked it up, the movie has very bad reviews, so I'm going to skip it, but just kind of neat that they had that. And you can't forget about this one, Hoagie Cormichael. This one seems to have some resale value, so I'll grab that one. I used to do pretty good at this spot from time to time. Hello. So they actually had some pretty good stuff, but when I went in there, the lady was basically kicking me out. She said they were closing early. And they had kind of weird pricing where DVDs were a dollar, unless it's horror, which is $2. Fine, I understand horror DVDs are more popular. But then she's like, oh, and Westerns are uh, $2 too. I did find a Hellraiser set that didn't have a price on it, but she said she wouldn't sell it to me for two. That one had to be four. So I skipped that, but I did find this one, Teeth. Uh, this is uh, a pretty good movie. Uh, from what I can tell, it's out of print. And yeah, good find there for $2. Here at the Salvation Army, dumping and looting prohibited. Darn it, those are my two favorite things, dumping and looting. Okay, what do we got here? Hmm. Ooh. Night of the Living Dead. Oh, a documentary. Wow. I've never seen this before. That's awesome. I've got a bunch of Stephen King books over here. The Dark Tower ones. I've read those. Uh, Doctor Sleep read that one. The Talisman. I think I own that, but haven't read it yet. Dolores Claiborne. Uh, an H.P. Lovecraft book. Huh. Stephen King, End of Watch. I haven't read this, so I'm definitely picking this one up. I haven't read this one either, nice. Stephen King writing as Richard Bachman plays. I heard this one isn't that great, so I think I'll skip that one. This one's pretty good, I've read that one. Usually you're lucky if you find like one or two Stephen King books. Someone must have, you know, dumped all these off who is a big Stephen King fan, nice. Also found some interesting CDs. This one kicked in the head. I'm pretty sure this is a New England like uh, local band. Uh, I haven't heard this name in a very long time, so interesting to see that. Found this one right here, seems to be a Japanese guy. Judging by the cover and like packaging, it looks like it would be like noise rock or something. Uh, and I'll give this one a shot. And last but certainly not least, Sleep Jerusalem. Now uh, Sleep is like a stoner rock band. And what's funny is it's only one track, but the one track is 52 minutes long. So here in the basement of the store, they have this VHS DVD combo player, uh, Magnavox, and for $17.99, that's a pretty good deal. These sell online for at least uh, like 50 bucks or so. Uh, I don't feel like dealing with it, so someone else can come grab this. I saw a sign outside that said, no dumping and looting. Are you ever gonna bring dumping and looting back? <laughs> so don't dump and loot, that was just a little joke. I wasn't recording, but the lady then later said uh, that they should make dumping and looting a national holiday, and I thought that was really funny. Holy smokes, I am not a fan of this CD right here. There's no drums, no bass, no vocals. It's just a guy dicking around on the guitar. We're four minutes into an 18 minute track, and yeah, that's all it is. Now I'm at the Goodwill. So 
also got these reel-to-reel -reel audio sets here. These are probably worth about $20 each. They're $2.99, so I'll grab these. These reels, if they were more popular groups, like let's say the Beatles or something, uh, potentially they could be worth like hundreds of dollars, uh, but these ones are still worth grabbing. Now I'm popping into Music Magic, a cool used CD and DVD store. So they have a big selection of horror DVDs over here in the corner, and they're only $2 each. I'm gonna grab these ones. It follows a really good movie. 976 Evil, that's also good. This is directed by Robert England, which is kind of funny. Oh yeah. And then uh, this one looks pretty intriguing. Let the Corpses Tan. I've never heard of this before. Cool looking cover. Seems to have good reviews there, so I'll gladly give this one a shot. So now I'm at the Goodwill, they have a bunch of comics, uh, trade paperbacks to be more specific, and they're mostly like five and some are ten. Unfortunately, they're just priced a little bit too high and they're not in great condition, like that crease across the cover would really knock this down a bit. Like mint condition, I could probably get 20 for it, but with that, it's probably worth about 10. So to pay five and then sell something for 10, it's not really worth it. Like this classic X-Men, it's detached from the cover. It's really a shame. This one is $10. I would gladly buy this one for five, but 10 is just a little bit too much. But it's cool to see these. Of these, I'm only going to buy this one, The Return of Superman, for $5. So that's about all the cold I could take. I'm back here in Florida. Let's see what they got up in here. Great, 75% off sale. Don't see movies on here, so I'm guessing they're 50% off. Looks like they got a bunch of DVDs in. Definitely grabbing this right here. Heck yeah. Awesome. Now, I don't personally watch Gunsmoke. My mom likes this show. Uh, season 1 through 4, brand new. And then you have season 8 and 9 used, but still a great deal. More gun smoke. Someone was a gun smoke fanatic, it seems like. Gotta love this knockoff right here. Ratatouille. Got a Roots box set here. Oh, unfortunately, the VHS. Brand new, this was $150. Now it's not worth nearly that much, but still pretty cool that it's here. I'm gonna grab these right here for 50 cents each. Great deal right there. This spot, they don't care if it's a box set or not. They're all the same price. And this one right here, the thing called Love. This seems to be out of print. River Phoenix is in it. I've never actually heard of this before, so I'll pick this up. Might as well grab this too. They got a whole bunch of new and sealed Disney VHS, but even at 50 cents each, they're not really worth buying. They're worth grabbing if you want to watch, but they don't really resell for that much. If they were the Black Diamond Classics, they would be worth a little bit and worth grabbing brand new, but these ones aren't. These Spanish soap opera ones have value. Unfortunately, it's missing a disc. Got some 50 cent records. Uh, some of these are worth grabbing. Jethro Tull, The Ventures, Stampeders. Interesting they have this, it's way before my time, but you always see this in the wild. Uh, this guy used to do an impression of John F. Kennedy, and I read somewhere that uh, after John F. Kennedy was assassinated, his career went down the toilet, and then unfortunately he took his own life, he was so depressed. Very sad, sorry to depress everyone. I'll grab these two. Our father's closet, kind of a weird name for a thrift store. It's green. Big media section here. Found this Xbox 360 Sega Dreamcast collection in uh, great shape. This is worth $3, I'll pick it up. 
at this next thrift store, my favorite day of the week, Media Monday. And they got a bunch of interesting things in, a ton of HD DVDs. Now these aren't worth a ton. HD DVD, that's a failed format. It lost out to Blu-ray. But I think if I lock these up, I'll do okay. I don't have an HD DVD player myself, nor do I really want one. There's really no point to have one, but some people do collect them. Got a bunch of other cool stuff here. The Star Trek uh, movie set here. The Police Message in a Bottle box set. The Police is a great band. Got some more over here. It's just kind of odd that the company Platinum puts out their DVDs in these big CD cases. I'm gonna grab all these right here, with the standout being this one, BMX Triple X. For all you bike riding perverts out there. Here's another something for the perverts out there, knockouts. I don't even want to show the full cover, but these types of movies usually do have value. Also found this one. This one is interesting, weird cast there. Emilio Estevez, Mick Jagger, and Anthony Hopkins. I was so happy with my purchase here the other day. Gonna check back today. Here, everything is 75% off, so I'm pretty sure this box set right here is only gonna be a quarter. Uh, this is pretty obscure. This is hard to find, National Lampoon's uh, radio box set. Also, uh, the magazine cover with this, uh, buy this or we'll shoot this dog. That's collectible, so look out for that magazine cover of National Lampoon's. But yeah, great find on this box set. So I'm actually not sure how much I paid individual, but for all of these, I paid $3. This one looks pretty cool, the Vampire Lovers. Yeah. So at the next spot here, I always check, because you gotta love free stuff. Got some DVD sets here. Classic comedy, John Wayne. I'm gonna leave those behind, but I am grabbing this one. Altitude with Attitude, Vertical Limit, Cliffhanger, Into Thin Air, brand new. So as I'm looking through here, the lady comes and dumps some more stuff in here. I'm gonna grab this too, the Mad Gross book. Nice. And some NRA DVDs. Maybe these have value. So that just about does it for this video. I do appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. I plan on going full steam 2023, doing even more videos than I did this year, so you can look forward to that. And I do hope everyone had a nice holiday and happy new year. Uh, that's, uh, you know, a few days from this recording. Uh, tomorrow, today's a Friday. Tomorrow, I'm going to also have a 10 best movie uh, of uh, 2020 review with Ari Bartlett, the other theater weirdo. So that will be the last theater weirdos for a long time. So if you want to watch that, tune in tomorrow if you're watching this on Friday or it was in the past and then go back and watch the video in, in, on, the, on the page. And I'll see you next time around. Here at the Triff Shop, I love Triff. Here Triff at, Store. Huh? Triff Store. Here at the Triff... <laughs> Here at the Triff Store, I love Triff Shopping. <laughs>